Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 30 with me Craig Barton. Now at the end of each calendar year I select my top 10 favourite resources of the year and it's always a very very tricky job but for 2013 there was no doubt in my mind whatsoever what my favourite resource of the year was and I only discovered it in kind of I think about October November of 2013 and it's this, the maths topic log. Now I'm pleased to say that after it topped the list, it's been downloaded quite a few times, but I'm aware that there are a few people out there who won't have spotted this yet, and I'm saying it is absolutely essential for anyone teaching GCSE mathematics, especially as we get into kind of the crunch time now, where the exams, the summer exams are looming very close on the horizon. So, maths topic log, and it's been kindly contributed by Alex Pett, and I'm a massive fan of his work, and please check out his other resources um, and his website, superb stuff. So, here it is, it looks nice and innocent, uh, the little Excel spreadsheet down here, um, but if you crack it open, it is a world of wonders inside. Now, what um, I'm gonna show you here is the version that we've actually populated with our student data, just so you can get a flavor of what it can do. Uh, so, you can enter in your all your students' names down the left-hand side, um, and I've put a little filter in so we can get all our different staff in as well. So if you look at my lovely uh, year 11 class here, um, I've put all their data in. And all along the top here, these are uh, the kind of top 10 most important number topics, top 10 uh, most important algebra, uh, shape and data topics. And each one contains two worksheets or mini assessments, I suppose. And they're both 10 markers and they're both similar to each other, but with different questions. And if I just show you an assessment, it might be it might make it uh, illustrated a bit clearer. So here's the uh, test day on factors, multiples and primes. So you can see just nice, simple uh, kind of uh, exam questions all out of 10 fit nicely on a sheet of A4. And the way we've been using these in class is that I give my students the test day in lessons and I give them maybe 15 minutes to, to work their way through it and they can talk to each other and they can use their notes. And at the end of those 15 minutes, we then mark it together as a class. And if during that process I discover that there's a few common misconceptions around, around the class, then I'll set, I'll do a bit of teaching, a bit of intervention on that specific area, and then I'll set them test B for homework. They then hand me in test B of the same topic, I mark it, and they're dead, they're quick to mark, and then enter the marks on the system. And it's absolutely brilliant because as a, we're at that stage now where we've, we've pretty much taught our year 11s everything, and we're just doing revision. Um, but it can be a little bit dull sometimes and also a little bit unfocused. But my year 11s have really liked this because they can see that the end's in sight. Once they've done all 40 of these, they know that they've covered all the main things they need for the GCSE. Um, and also, um, it means that they have a kind of complete set of notes to take with them as well um, to really help their revision. But it's even nicer than that because we've got the whole uh, year 11 uh, every piece of data on every student down here and you can see some classes are filled in more than others but if you use the student review tab um, on the Excel spreadsheet then you can actually focus in on any particular student you want and you can see their areas of strength and weakness and that's been really useful for us when we've been planning intervention because if for example we can identify that across year 11 there are 30 students who really struggle with compound measures or decimals then we can uh, put on a lunchtime session or an after school session on that particular topic. So in terms of kind of consistency of revision across the department and in terms of getting students on board and in terms of identifying specific areas of, of trouble, it's been absolutely superb for us and I'm just so, so grateful for Alex for, for uploading it and I want to make sure as many people as possible use this. As I say, we've adapted the Excel spreadsheet slightly. We've got a teacher filter in there and we've done it so we can put our whole year group in there. And this is my contribution. I love maths. That's about as technical as my Excel work goes, uh, but it's absolutely fantastic. I should say as well that these uh, uh, tests are hyperlinked to, to a Dropbox file. So if you click those, you can download it, but you've got to be connected to the internet. Uh, what I went through, is uh, I went through and downloaded them all so I've got them on our secure shared area at school all in their individual folders just so people don't need to be connected to the internet but that's kind of a, a personal choice so there it is that was my resource of the year for 2013 and I just hope 2014 brings a better one along because if it does it's going to be another fantastic year for resources on TES Maths I'll be back with a fresh resource of the week next week take care and bye for now